So about a month ago, I did a video about making some spook style layers from broom handles. I did a bit of a giveaway with that video. And for this project, I'm gonna be spraying up one of the winner's patterns and also personalizing it with decals. So I'm really just about ready to start spraying. I've loaded up the airbrush with some black acrylic ink. This is um, Liquitex. It's basically pre-mixed for airbrushes, so I don't need to add anything to thin that down. To prepare the body, because it's wood, I've given it two full coats of five minute epoxy and left it to fully cure before sanding it back. Then I've added a couple of coats of white primer. This is from Createx and I thin this down with some matching reducer. So I'm really just laying down a light coat. This doesn't have to be anything fancy, to be honest. It's gonna be painted over. And at the moment, it looks a bit spitty, so I might just up the uh, air pressure to about 35 PSI. The body's mounted in a fly time vise, so it's easy just to turn as I work. So the ink starts to look a bit wet. I'm gonna give it a quick blast with the hairdryer before I go back to it with the airbrush. So that's it about finished for the black coat. I've left basically just the belly white and I'm gonna leave that to dry for a little bit. So I'm just clipping on some netting. This is gonna give me the scale pattern. I've also mixed up a bit more of the white with the reducer to thin it down a little. I've probably only added about 10% of the reducer and it should bring it to that consistency of kind of skimmed milk. So I'm going to have to lay this down in very thin coats. I want the paint almost to dry as it touches the body. And to speed up that process a little, I'm going to have to rely on the hairdryer. I'm also trying to keep the airbrush on the same angle with every stroke so I don't kind of push the paint round the netting from different positions. So the white's dry now. I've left the netting on and I've changed up the paint to a metallic gold. And I've changed the airbrush to one with a larger nozzle so the tiny particles in the paint won't clog it as easy. And it's really the same again, light coats and lots of hair dryer. To tone down the gold, I'm ghosting in a bit of uh, olive green along the flanks and over the back. This again is a pre-mixed thing, so I can use it with the finer airbrush. To darken the back further, I'm adding a black stripe. And I'm also gonna put some dark patches in for where the eyes are gonna go. I'm kinda of tidying up where all that mess of overspray meets on the belly by just spraying on some more white. stripes I'm using a white acrylic marker and really trying to capture that kind of juvenile pipe pattern rather than the kind of spotty adults. For the eye I'm using some plastic packaging that I've punched a hole in and I'm just spraying in a, a bit of a white base as a background and then I'll blend in the stripes to the underside 
So I've painted both sides and I've mounted it back in the fly tying vise and I just need to run a bit of yellow to soften that white along the top and also the eye. I'm going to give it a blast of shimmering green on top just to lift that black a little. Again for the pupils I'm using a bit of plastic with a hole punched in it. So for the final little bit of decoration I'm cutting out these decals that I've made. The winner of the lair is from France and he's part of a little group of friends and they have a kind of mascot for pike fishing uh, called the Pike Man. And he sent me a picture so I thought I'd have a little go at cartooning which is not something I've done for a while. So I made a few sketches and kind of picked the best one out. Uh, just imported that into the computer to a paint package. And I tidied it up a bit and coloured it in. Then it was just a case of printing it out on some water slide decal paper. This is something I got off eBay. To turn that into a usable decal, I gave it a couple of coats of just ordinary clear lacquer spray paint. And then I'm just trimming down one of the drawings. I'm gonna soak this in a bit of water, probably about 30 seconds and it should just slide off and I can slide it onto the body. So I'm just sorting out the split rings and the hooks. Uh, yesterday I gave the body a couple of coats of epoxy uh, on the turning rack rather than refilm that. Uh, I'll post a link to a video which covers it a bit more in depth. Uh, the layer's ready really. I'm gonna kind of give it a quick test in this tank and then uh, post it off to France. Part of me kind of uh, at this point would rather take it down the lake and go go and do a bit of pike fishing <laughs> but there you go. When I was um, editing yesterday and I was looking through footage from old videos I kind of Ended up sitting down and watching, I think, probably about 10 of my videos. <laughs> uh, which was great in a way to look back at what I'd done. Um, but it was also great to see the comments that people had left and the kind of people's reaction to them. Um, I don't always say thanks, but really just thanks for giving me this platform to make these videos. Uh, and all the support I've had over the years it is now, actually. Um, I'm going to try and get the videos out a bit more regularly, hopefully once a week. Uh, so next week, I would have thought, we'll have another video out. Something really completely different, but you'll have to hang on for that. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you've been here far too long and you've watched too many of my videos, leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Yeah, it looks all right.